Welcome back everybody to Quarantine Cooking, episode 38, you guys. My name is Chef Mark Segovia with Segovia's Catering. We're here at the beautiful Neon Exchange in Garlic City, Gilroy, California, in this beautiful kitchen here, you guys. We have Tony Bowles from the Neon Exchange behind What's the up? camera, taking care of business. We want to say hi to Andrea Nicolette at the YMCA. How are you doing, Andrea? We love you, we miss you, we hope you're being safe out there. Uh, we have a, a great show today, you guys. You can see these beautiful vegetables over mm -hmm. here. We're going to be doing a vegetable and farro, which is going to be a grain stuffed baked acorn squash, you guys. We're going to do a wonderful carrot salad. Don't get tricked, you guys. When you hear carrot salad, you're thinking the shredded carrots. And this is what we're looking at, you guys. Look at these mini little baby carrots oh, right pretty. here. Beautiful, beautiful ones. We do have our special guest today. It's going to be Garlic Girl Charcuterie. We have Miss Lori Hot. Hey, Lori. Hey, guys. Hi. And she How brought this beautiful doing? setup Let's here, you guys. Look. look at this. Wow. Thank you for the show. <laughs> I love this. All this is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So, Lori, yes. garlic girl charcuterie. Yes. What, all, what does that all entail, and what is it that we can look forward to? Yeah. So, um, it entails a variety of meats, cheeses, vegetables, and fruits, and Yum. some lovely little sweet touches and brined options as well. Um, I can tell you a little bit about it. And some artwork. artwork. It looks like artwork. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like artwork. Look at that. Absolutely. This is the best part, I, is, is mixing my two favorite things, food and artistically and That's creatively and making something beautiful. So, um, yeah, my signature item is the roasted garlic, and we've got some dried fruits, as well as, like I said, some olives, some wonderful local honey from the East Foothills of Gilroy. There you go. Um, nice. Strawberries, grapes. Blackberries. I'm a big berry fan. I might try this for my allergies. There you go. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think it's go. better than the actual allergy pills. Um, some lovely goat cheese with a little bit of red pepper flakes, a brie, and a an aged cheddar. So, Gosh, um, and this is copa and salami. So a couple of different meat varieties. So yeah, whatever you're putting together a board, it's nice to have a variety of um, savory and sweet things. Mm -hmm. Definitely and mix some, it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and then. Um, when we sample it, um, I would recommend you try a little bit of the honey mm -hmm. with the roasted garlic and the goat cheese. Oh, nice. It really nice. is an amazing I know roasted garlic, when you roast it, gets a little sweet. It does. Yeah, it it actually, sweet. it really mellows out. So mm -hmm. it's not like eating a raw garlic clove. It's not strong. And we could eat them raw, too. We don't care. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the vampire. I'm telling them, you. Whatever. Yeah. So how can they reach you if they want to say someone's having a party and they want to get some of these? How can they reach you? Yeah, so I have a website. It's um, garlicgirlcharcuterie.com. Okay. And all my information is there. And I'm also on Instagram by the same handle. So either way. Nice, yes. nice. I saw, I've seen a lot of pictures you posted, and I know you have, you have uh, somebody in your house taking pictures for you, <laughs> and a cheese Shout there. Shout out to Hawk Photography. Yes, <laughs> yes. Shout out to Hawk Photography for all my wonderful pictures. Yeah, you have some beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, charcuterie boards on there. Very Thank nice. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of Definitely. fun. I, I love it. We are going to have her show us one of these fancy little roses. After we get going, she's going to show us how to do this, you guys. So let's get ready to get some cooking. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, okay. let's go. We have our wine going here. Nice. Let's take a drink of wine before we get going. Yeah, we do have Antonio Guerrero in the house over there. Hi. My mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have a white wine paired with all of these meats and cheeses. We do. Okay. Um, this is a, so this particular wine is an Albarino, which okay. is a Spanish varietal, and it's actually from a local winery. Um, a lot nice. of sellers. Yeah, okay. So. It's delicious, by the way. Delicious. So we're going to get started, you guys, here. We're going to, we have the acorn squash. This is going to take the longest to cook, so we want to get this going first, you guys. Okay. I have my oven at 400 degrees. You're going to be looking about 20, about 15 to 20 minutes. You're looking for the top to be soft. Okay. So what we're going to do is cut this in half. You ever use acorn squash at all? Squash. This is something that you can pick up at your normal grocery store. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Safe. I bought all this at Not Peel here in Gilroy. Okay. These are all your your seasonal see produce right now. Uh, you have your carrots. You have the red Russian kale, which is beautiful. And they always say anything that's brighter, like the uh -huh. purple, more vitamins in it. Not Better good. for you. So I love the squash. Can't go wrong with the squash, you guys. So I always have a little bowl next to me. What's that for, Tony? For the garbage. Yes. And it's a bright bowl. <laughs> no, it's bright, bright no I, I give her a hard time because everything's pink in here, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's pink or vibrant in color. I love it. And we did cook the farro ahead of time because that also takes about 25 minutes 
Um, there's no real ratio for that. You're just gonna boil it like pasta, get it al dente, cool it off under cold water, you guys. Strain it, cool it off, and you can put it aside, keep it in the fridge for about three to four days. Um, sometimes, I've had it even longer, about five days. You put it in salads, uh, mix it up with different vegetables. Have fun with it. So I do have a question. Yes. I admit that I don't know what faro is and what family it belongs to. It's a legume. Where... It's gonna be like uh, your like barley almost. Okay. Um, it's gonna be real, real, real hardy, uh, real hard. Uh, but it is a legume. And where do you find that in the? Um, you can find that at a lot of just, uh, more of the higher end supermarkets. I went to a couple here in Gary and did not have it. Okay. I went to Napio, they did have it there. Okay. So. So it's not your regular rice. You're not gonna find it. Um, I went to, like I said, I went to other stores that did not have it. They didn't even know what it was. Mm -hmm. So I went to Lopio, they did have it there. And Lopio had a couple of different varieties. Okay. And I can show you the package also okay. uh, before we're done and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay. So what do we hear? Do you, I know, uh, dumb question. I was like, do you That's cook at home? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? I like to cook everything. I like variety. That's actually why I like charcuterie because there's so much yeah, variety. Yeah, there's so much you can do. Yeah, the variety is the spice of life, right? Mm -hmm. so, a little bit of yeah. olive oil, you guys. I have my salt and pepper mix here. Salt and pepper it. Here we so go. So you just took out the seeds. Yeah, take out the seeds. A little olive oil, salt and pepper. A little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Don't oh. forget some holes in the front. Okay. On the top, you guys. Get some uh, ventilation there. Don't poke yourself. I won't. Don't jinx me, girl. I haven't come here myself in like 15 years. So. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're putting it in. Love it, set it. Forget and it. Forget it, you guys. That's it right there. Okay. That's, that's done. So that's, as that's going, we're going to move this out of the way. Uh, we have our farro here. We're going to start sauteing this. While I'm sauteing this, you guys, we have a cup. I'm going to show you what, what we're going to put in there. We're going to put some garlic in there. We're going to put in some dried cranberries in there. We're gonna actually saute these up a little bit with some olive oil mm -hmm. uh, with these, so get some flavor into them and get some uh, moisture back into them a little bit. So that farro is a two-step process. So you are first you can cook boiled. it just like that, but I'm sauteing it also. Okay, so that's the second process, saute yes. on top of the boil. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you wanna if you can't take it from raw state to saute, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, you'll just burn it. Okay. You'll just burn. It. You'll never cook. You know, um, you're never gonna cook it unless you put water. It needs to be boiled first, okay. all the time. So this is our wonderful red Russian kale. Have you ever had this one? No, it's oh, spectacular. It's, Isn't it gorgeous? gorgeous? I am so excited about it. And what we're going to do with this is just get a little, a little chop here. That's all edible? Everything. Okay. Every, 100% of it. And we're going to saute this with the farro, you guys. Let's get this out of the way. While I'm sauteing this, you guys are going to have a little sample of how to make the rolls, you guys. Oh, so nice. let's get her ready and we'll be right back. Okay. So here we go, you guys. We're going to saute our wonderful farro here. Let's take a look at it. Okay. That's what it looks like. All afterwards. done already. All done. When you get it, it's really hard. Uh -huh. So that's why it's not like white rice. White rice, you cook it in seven minutes, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. This takes about 20 to 25 minutes, you guys. Okay. Uh, I cooked it al dente because I don't want it falling apart, all mushy when we're sauteing it mm -hmm. and turn it into a mush ball. You know what I mean? So play with it. Uh, cook a little bit. See uh, what you can do with it. Like I said, put it on salads, uh, stuffed peppers, put it with these peppers, uh, chili and lentils. Uh, there's so many things you could do with, with, with farro, um, just like rice, just like beans, just anything else. It's very versatile, you guys, so mm -hmm. I really recommend you use this. Uh, so what I'm going to be sauteing over here is going to be the filling for the acorn squash. We're going to put some kale, the red Russian kale, dried cranberries, garlic, and the farro, you guys. While I'm doing that, you guys get a little display on how to make the rolls. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Sounds good. Okay, Laurie. Okay, Let's rock and roll. Give me some. Yeah, there we yeah, go. There we go. go. Okay, guys. So some of you guys might have seen this because it's a little bit of a trend right now on TikTok and some other popular mm -hmm. social media. But um, this is how you can easily make a rose at home yourself. There's a couple of techniques, but I wanted to show you this one. Good to have large salami for this. So you want the bigger slices versus, mm -hmm. you know, the smaller. Um, very easy. You just get a wine glass and literally you're just going to take it, place it around like this. And you're gonna kind of layer it, you know, each edge over the other, mm -hmm. like so. You make it look so easy already. <laughs> well, you'll be surprised when you see how it turns out, I think. Because when the first time I did it, I was like, how's this gonna look? Is there any, <laughs> is there any difference in whether it's room temperature, hot or cold, in, in terms of rigidity to work with it? Yeah, I mean, 
So you, you definitely want it cold because because you need to maintain the the quality of the, um, for safety for reasons, you want to keep it cold, right? Okay. Um, but the other thing I've noticed is fat content. Yeah. So oh, okay. if you have, no for example, the COPA is that I have here is very easy to this work with. The more, this is COPA. COPA is, I find easier to work with with the fat content to kind of get it to do what I want. Uh -huh. um, larger slices of salami, I would avoid dry salami because mm -hmm. that tends to not have, I, I think like, does, it, they dry it out. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have as much fat content. So yeah, the more fat content, the better. Okay. So that's good news, bad news, if you're watching it, right? <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's it, guys. You just, like, I literally laid it over. It's five pieces of salami. Five pieces. Five okay. pieces. Boom. Look at that. Wow. There you go. That is so Look at that. Right? Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. So you could make this. So more. if I gave that to my girlfriend and roses, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> She likes the salami, so we're good at it. If she likes the salami, then you're good, <laughs> yeah. So I like to do this for a center a center piece mm -hmm. on a, if I'm doing a large board, this makes a beautiful center piece because um, it's always good to start in the middle of your boards and work out, mm -hmm. work your way out. And you can, add, of course, add more and make a more voluminous um, flower. And it's also more of an open bloom looking flower than, say, this one that I did here, which is a little, a little tighter. different, a little yeah. tighter, yeah. So easy peasy. That's beautiful. You made it look so easy. I, know. I don't Thank know. You. My chunky hands, I'm taking <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much for showing yeah, that. Absolutely. Okay, let me see. So we're, gonna real get, quick. we're gonna get this is what we're looking at, you guys, right here. As you can tell, I haven't put in the kale yet. So you put everything in there. Except the kale. Okay. They have olive oil, you guys are gonna have some olive oil, salt pepper, Gilroy garlic, we get some dried cranberries, and we get some cooked farro in here. Remember cook. We have our Things go in here. You want to take a look over here, you guys? Let's take a look. Look at that. Going. Okay. Probably another about 10, 15 minutes on that. And you're on medium heat on the top or high? This is going to always, on, I have this on high right now. Okay. The talk, I think you need to give this a saute, Lori. Yeah. Come you want to give it a flick? Yeah. You, you want to give it a flick? With that little wrist action. <laughs> if you give it, I think she's a pro. She's coming in unprepared right now. Yeah. <laughs> She's a reader, we got a reader. Uh, I don't know about that. There you go. Okay, here we go. There we go. You have a, you have a, you have a spoon? No. <laughs> we're gonna, you just want me to jiggle it? We're going to flick it. You know how to flick it? No. Oh, gosh. There you go, there no. you go. You'll get it, you'll get it. What do I get? <laughs> there you go, we'll go, we'll get it. You want to give it to the end and just okay. bring it back? Oh, bring it back, oh, bring it back, okay. bring it back. Oh, with gravity. One more time, we'll give you a word. fancy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I saw it right. It was a she got like four grains, so that's good enough. It was a baby one. <laughs> Again, I haven't added the kale, you guys. Uh, not yet. I wanted to, to saute, get those flavors going for a little bit, because I don't want to turn this into mush either. Okay. The right one just is almost done, as it is right now. Okay. We're going to add this right there. Okay. So what's your favorite cheese? Oh gosh, I love goat cheese. I mean, I, I, I cheese. almost do goat cheese on every board. It I saw it. I saw a like crumbled goat cheese. It's uh, like a little crumble. I was like, oh my god! I love goat cheese. So, how did you get into making charcuterie boards? So, yeah, funny question. Um, I, you know, I started playing around with it in December. Mm -hmm. I think it was kind of a product of just wanting to find a creative outlet in a in a sort of subconscious way. Like, I didn't even really know that I was pursuing this. It just started playing around. Um, I have a friend that does this in Atlanta, so I got some tips from her, which was really helpful. And then I just kind of started, you know, sharing what I was doing and people were really receptive. Mm -hmm. So that kind of told me that, you know, maybe there was something there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I just, I, I love it. It's, it's Look a, what you know, you're on our show. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, I make quarantine cooking. That's I know. Amazing. Is it my understanding you started on Instagram before you went to the website development? Yes. Or? Uh, okay. well. Or which way, which, what really, was the introduction? So, yeah, good question. So, I did not use Instagram before mm -hmm. I had this. So, I was, did not have any idea how to use it. I was posting on Facebook primarily. Mm -hmm. That's where I was getting all my feedback. And then when I decided, okay, I think I really want to do this, my 14-year-old daughter helped me launch my Instagram. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness for the younger generation. Because yeah. I had no idea. Um, and then we, uh, and then I decided to have a website as well. So yeah, my husband taught me a little bit. Because obviously he's very good at that stuff. So yeah. yeah um, and I just... Yeah, I just, I get a lot of inspiration from other people who are doing what I do. Mm -hmm. I actually um, have taken courses with 
people who do exactly what I do. So I found a community. Yeah. Um, I'm in a group, so I can ask lots of questions, get lots There's of input. Really mm -hmm. to be it's, it's amazing. I mean, you know, I think you bring up Instagram, and I, there, I just, it's amazing how you can have a business today with just Instagram. Because Isn't it crazy? <laughs> it's crazy. And there's so, and it, yeah. So there's so many great ways to get it information, get inspired, mm -hmm. um, find communities that didn't exist, you know, pre-social yeah. media, pre-the internet, uh, it's a different time. Yeah. So it's exciting. Well, yeah. We're a big fan, Thank and you. when things start going with events and You're stuff like that. You're part of the Gorgeous Cookie family now. Yeah. Oh, yay. Look at that, you guys. Look how beautiful that looks. That does look beautiful. Again, you can add anything you want to this. Smells good, good, too. You can add apple to this. You could add, uh... Mm. Any any kind of vegetable you guys want to this is just so, so versatile. This is what we wanted to do today. Okay. So you knew to take that off when that purple when the when when did you know? Oh, um, when I'm looking at the at the kale here. Yeah. It's still you can still know it's kale. Okay. You can still recognize it as kale once it starts breaking apart and you're just like there's something green in there or purple. Uh huh. That's not what you want. You know, you want people to see. It. You want your customers to see this? It maintains your the structure. Yeah, keep it structured so they can say, oh my God, look, there's a cranberry or there's, a, there's some kale or not just, oh, there's some mm -hmm. mushy stuff there. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's the way I was taught. I always was taught just make sure the food looks like what it's supposed to be. Okay. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you guys a quick carrot salad. Nice. Here we, we get go. a twofer. And we're going to start off with these. I'm going to show you, I, I peeled some earlier. So I don't want to take 25 minutes here peeling. Okay. Um, the red will run, as you can tell on my board a little bit, it will run a little bit. But so I, I just cleaned it real quick. Just like so. Just clean the outside of it. Mm-hmm. Get that out okay, of the get way. rid of that top layer. Yeah, get rid of the little top layer there. Okay. Uh, a lot of people also can uh, use a scrubber and just scrub, like the green scrubber to scrub mm -hmm. it off. Uh-huh. Um, I like to peel it because if you put in some of that stuff, it looks dull in there. I like the fresh. So all you do is go like that. And that's yeah. it. Lori, can you get, there's a bowl in there, some uh, shavings, can you get it for me? In the fridge? Yes. So we're gonna make the salad real quick. I already did some ahead of time. I did some of the, the, um, the golden ones. I did some of the orange and the, the dark ones. Okay. okay. So the way we're gonna make the salad is we're gonna add a couple of things. People always throw these carrot tops away. I always use them. I make carrot top uh, chimichurri, mm -hmm. uh, little sauces with it. You could, uh, I always like see this one. It's a carrot. Let's throw it in there. This is all edible. Nice, it's good. To all have. edible. Within the last years, a lot of chefs they don't throw none of this stuff away anymore. No, you don't use it. I have some parsley here. I'm gonna throw in there. So, how's your family feel about you doing this? They love it. Oh, they love it. They're so supportive. My uh, my husband, you know, he's a big fan, and he, of course, like I said, helps me with all my photos and all that. And my kids, um, well, my daughter specifically, I've hired to help me. <laughs> nice, nice. How old is she again? 14. 14. Yeah, so she's a freshman in high They're school. They're so good on that social media. Oh, yeah. So she, she's... Um, Salt pepper? She's excited about, about it. And she... Yeah, they're, they're, they're really supportive. Today, my, husband, my son said, Mom, you're getting famous. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm not getting famous. <laughs> but he's 12. And you know what the cool thing is, especially with your 14-year-olds, and, and now your 12-year-olds, um, they're watching Mom start a business from grassroots yeah. ground yeah, up. Really. Yeah. And so it, they, when they're older, they can wrap their mind, even when, at their age, they can wrap their head around what it takes yeah. step by step. Yeah. And see all of your, at least we're, with me, my kids have yeah. seen the ups and downs. Yeah. And so they write post-it notes and leave them on my whiteboards and like, we believe in you. So Aww. it's like they're riding the ride yeah. that I'm on. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's very cool. So I think they're, they, they know it makes me happy. So, I, you know, that they're excites behind them. You and they they are. You to be happy yeah. 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 What'd you do? What'd you do before this? So, um, I've been in, in sales for the last 15 years. I actually, I'm still. I still do that too, so I do both right now. But yeah, not, <laughs> so not for I'm long. Juggling not a lot. Long. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. I hope to make the leap. That would be awesome. But yeah, but for now I'm juggling both, so it's uh, yeah, keeps it exciting, keeps nice. it interesting, keeps yes. me going. <laughs> so look at this salad. Oh, There's a beautiful crazy. salad. We're gonna have the carrot top, uh, the carrot top greens in there, uh -huh. parsley. We have all the carrots shredded right there, just nice slivers, and all it is with this, you guys. What did you put in there? It looks like I put a little bit of olive oil. Okay. I put lemon juice uh, to, to get a little bit of that tartness in there. Because what we're doing is a lot of natural stuff. 
Mm -hmm. um, and we want you want a little bit of that lemon, a little tart mm -hmm. to go in there and bring that flavor. And salt and pepper, that's it. Okay. That's a real simple. And we're gonna we're gonna check our thing, our acorn squash, and we'll be right back. Here we go, you guys. We're back. We're gonna check our acorn squash, and we'll be ready to play. We got our we got our, our farro all set up here. Take a look at that. How beautiful yeah, that looks. It smells good too. There's all vegetarian meal here. All vegetarian, you guys. So we're gonna check our acorn Ooh, squash. It's sizzling. And this is what we're looking for. Exactly what we're looking at. Nice and soft, cooked all the way. There you go, look at that. It's amazing, you can hear it sizzling there. Yeah. So let's get this, we're gonna start plating here, you guys. Are you hungry, you ready to try this? Look at that beautiful color. Actually, we're gonna stop there. I brought some uh, balsamic glaze to put in the bottom. There we go. And that balsamic glaze is kind of sweet too. Right? Yes. Yeah. That brings out the little sweetness. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's get a spoon here. What do you think, Tony? Does it smell good? It smells delicious. Now look at this. Mm. And you can fill it with anything, you guys. If you don't want it vegetarian, don't. Add some meat if you want some sausage, mm -hmm. turkey, ground beef, uh, ground beef, whatever you want. Mm. Lovely. And I like to throw a little bit on this side. And then last is our wonderful salad that we have here. I almost forgot about that. Look at these colors, you guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, you put it right on top. Look at that. Yeah. <gasps> that is beautiful. How beautiful does that look? It's amazing. Mm. And a little bit more glaze on top. There we go. There we go. We're going to have our vegetable stuff, acorn squash. We did our wonderful farro, you guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the, um, the cranberries in there, and we used the carrot top on the salad and we use three different carrots. You can experiment at home, you guys. Have fun with it. And we're gonna have uh, Lori try it out and let us know what you think, Lori. Okay. Here we go, you guys. We have our wonderful stuffed acorn squash. Really easy dish to do for the whole family. Play with it at home, you guys. Add whatever you want, any vegetables. Have fun with it. And if you guys do do it at home, send us some pictures. Let us know what you guys think. We have Lori here with garlic grilled charcuterie. She's going to try this out. Hopefully she likes it and she doesn't beat us up or something, you guys. It has a lot of garlic, so I know I'm like it. <laughs> okay, try it out. Let's know what you think. Okay. Try out that little salad. It's Get gorgeous. one good little bite there. It's beautiful. I love all the colors. Oh, it's so soft and tender. Okay. I'm making a little mess, but I'm, no, no problem. Okay. I'm going to get there, I promise. It's all yours. Okay, here we go. She's going in, guys. She's going I'm, in. I'm trying to get all the little nibbles so we get all the flavors. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Scrumptious. That's delicious. We got that's the first scrumptious, I think, right? Yeah, that's the first scrumptious. That's the first scrumptious. That's awesome. Right here. And yeah. I want to tell you, your boards are beautiful. We oh, wish you nothing so but much. the best. Thank you so much. And I think you're going to be very successful, thank you know, you. especially uh, your personality. Oh, and, and, you know, and you're part of our family now. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Thank you for bringing me into the family. Yeah. I'm excited and, to be and here. And thank you for coming on our show. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Tony, we rocked another one. Yes, we did. I want to tell everybody, thank you, you guys. We'll see you next week. With number 39, we're going to be prepared. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And stay alive, you guys. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye.